Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Uh, for many years now, as you probably know, the most wanted car in the semi-compact class hatchback was Volkswagen Golf. Many people want to have a Golf. It was such a good quality, German brand and so on. In recent years, 2021, this is no more like that because Volkswagen collaborate also with Seat, also with Skoda. And to be honest, it's such a hard time to choose a car in 2021 because there are so many cars in the same class that are so good. And it's just a matter of taste, you know, of personal preference because I have so many questions from you guys that ask me which one is better, Seat Leon or Volkswagen Golf, Koda, Kodia. The answer is so complex it's so complicated depend on so many factors and I totally recommend you to go and test and to go and see the cars and then you can make a decision yourself because they are really good and and most of them they have uh, extended warranty and they are good cars in, in general they are it's not like 20 years before where the German brand was the best and that was for sure the other cars were break really fast these days most of the car are really good now it's just a matter of taste of price and stuff like that now let's finish this discussion and let's talk about one car that really impressed me the Volkswagen Golf nowadays it's a very good car but for most of the people it's a little bit boring now Seat come with this Cupra Leon here I have the plug-in version with a battery and also with the possibility to charge it at home so you have the both worlds you have a petrol engine and also an electric motor and you can drive also in only an electric mode and also only with petrol engine and this car guys i have to tell you it's such a modern car it's such a crazy car uh, it has so many crazy features everything is so modern and new and different i should say and unique in his way and this car is for the people that want something different and you will see in this video I will make the review interior exterior I will explain your technical data all the information about this new Cupra Leon plug-in hybrid or i hybrid the way they call it you will find out in these videos first of all if you are new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see also the test drive I will make a special separate video with uh, this Cupra Leon uh, plug-in hybrid a separate test drive video so check it out on my channel probably it's already there if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out now i want to start with the technical data and then we will go on the exterior we will go in the interior and i will explain you every single feature about this cupra leon plug-in hybrid first of all guys what you have to know it comes with a petrol engine 1.4 liter four cylinders in line 245 horsepower 400 newton meters pretty powerful to be honest it's incredible the maximum speed 225 kilometers super nice super sporty the car come also with a battery 13.5 3 kilowatt hour battery and the range of the car it's 52 VLTP this is the estimate you can drive with this car only in electric till 52 kilometer VLTP probably the real life will be around 40 45 depend on the temperature outside but it's so nice it's a great transition if you don't want to jump from the IC combustion engine car to the electric cars directly it's a great transition to go with a plug-in hybrid car because you have the possibility to charge it at home to test to see if you like the electric cars and also you have the possibility to drive with petrol engine if you go at long trips you don't want to stop to charge it you will find out how is to drive and all that information in other video in test drive video the other things important is that you have one small downside that I find it on this car and also it's the same with the Volkswagen Golf plug-in hybrid the new one is the fact that the trunk space have only 270 liter I will show you a little bit later because because under the floor is the battery and all that stuff the tank and you cannot put something under there probably this is the only downside but other than that the car is just gorgeous the transmission of the car it comes with a six speed automatic transmission DSG this six speed automatic transmission is special for plug-in hybrid cars and Volkswagen group use it also for the Golf the front suspension independent McPherson suspension in the back you have multi-link 
independent suspension, ventilated brake discs in the front and uh, also in the back. I will show you later when we go outside. A 0 to 100 kilometer 6.7 seconds, CO2 emission 35 grams. In terms of emission, it's doing a great job. Now the price guys, I know you're curious about the price. So at least here in Switzerland at Gauci, I will leave the link in the description guys. Uh, if you want to check out the car, if you live around Switzerland, check them out. Uh, they are super nice. They have great service and great price as well. And I will tell you in a second. Yeah, the link in the description. The price of this Seat Leon Cupra, actually it's a Cupra Leon because nowadays Seat it's separate and Cupra it's separate. They are kind of the same, but they are separate each other. It's like Polestar with Volvo. The same thing happened also with Seat and Cupra. They try to make the same cars, but different brand. Not really the same because Cupra is in a sporty area. This Cupra Leon price, uh, because it has already 250 kilometer, it's a brand new car, 250 kilometer. It's nothing. I mean, in May, two months ago, was born, this car was built and the price is 34,900 francs. It's an amazing price. I will add the price also in dollars so you can make an idea. I know the new price was around 46, 47,000. I look on the internet before and they have almost 10,000 discounts. It's just crazy for what this car can offer such a big discount. And I will show you the car and then you will make a conclusion in the end. So guys, let's go review the exterior and then uh, we will go also inside. So let's do it guys. This is the key, super nice, modern, glossy plastic. It looks really, really nice. Uh, also, we have the buttons here to lock, unlock, and also unlock the trunk. It doesn't come with automatic lift gate in the trunk, but you can unlock it from here. And also this nice Cupra logo on it on the other side. Also, Volkswagen Golf 8 and normal Seat Leon use the same, same key. Now, let's go to the exterior of the car, guys. And also what I want to tell you before is that the car come with the keyless entrance. All you have to do is just put your finger right here. You can lock the car. It comes also with electronic folding mirrors, as you can see right here. And when you want to unlock it, you put your hands right here. And right now the car is unlocked. And also you can see the mirrors will fold out as well. So yeah, this is the thing that you can do with a key. Now let's turn on the lights and then uh, we will talk about the exterior of the car. All right, guys, I just turned on the lights so you can see it as I show you the exterior design. Now let's talk a little bit about the exterior design. I tried to look at the car before I start the review to find something that I don't like about the car because I like it so much. It's so modern design, beautiful lines, beautiful shapes full LED lights everywhere. Uh, the bumpers look super nice, super sporty and spectacular. Also the lines of the car, the rims, the windows, everything look perfect. The only thing that I find out that I wish was different on this car is not something that I, I don't like it completely, is that the down skirt there, I wish it to be a little bit different. Uh, here, this area, I wish to, that they add some kind of a plastic or something extended, you know, to look more dynamic, more sporty, and also to protect take this part down here on the car but other than that look at the lines beautiful lines here on the white color you can see better beautiful lines on the side also down here with the door look nice uh, the tinted windows up here look gorgeous glossy plastic around the edges of the windows here between the windows you have this glossy plastic on the roof here, you have the radio antenna in glossy black plastic that look nice. The roof spoiler here looks super, super sporty. It extends with this glossy plastic around here. It looks so nice. It's so nice integrated with the car. Here you have this beautiful, beautiful roof spoiler. And then if we go down a little bit, you can see even the bumper and all that elements there look gorgeous. Now, if you go around the car on this area here, you can see that here on the left side, you have the charging port, I will show you later. And on the other side, you have the, the tank, the petrol tank. So other than that, beautiful design. Even in the front part here, you can see the hood quite quite nice interesting sharp edges line here on the hood look really aggressive they are extended until down here on the on the front uh, of the car the grill the bumper the lights they fit so nice with the car and i don't have actually any complaint in my opinion it looks just gorgeous let's take a closer look at the car and let's begin here in the front 
uh, with the lights guys so first of all what i want to tell you it comes with the latest technology in terms of uh, lights it comes with full led lights here you can see the turning signals in the same place it's also the the daylight also uh, high beam low beam led uh, automatic high beam and all that technology is just just gorgeous now you can see also if you look closer there very nice design in the interior here the way they, they add those triangles here on the side it make it much more premium i should say and it looks really good now if you look from the front you can see a little bit better you can understand the way they look really really nice if you go down here you will see that even the fog lamps are led and that's a great great thing uh, I like that as well. If I go on the side here on the mirrors, you can see the mirrors are not in the same color as the car. They are different color. It's kind of a nice gray here, but also they are unique and interesting the way they design this uh, leg down here. Also the turning signals, LED light, really interesting given the turning signals. Uh, the way it looks, it's, it's quite, quite cool. You have an LED down here to illuminate the floor. If you look here, you can see nice design on the mirror, quite sharp edges it looks a little bit like an Audi and then if I'm not wrong the blind spot technology I will show you a little bit later it's integrated right here in this door uh, because here on the door you have an LED light right here on the door and here it will illuminate somehow a yellow light I will show you later uh, there is the blind spot technology so it's not on the mirrors now let's go in the back here in the back look at the lights guys look at the strip LED bar light that goes all over through the back of the car uh, here you can see the turning signals following turning signals here is the the fog lamp in LED reverse light LED brake light LED even this bar of light that goes all over through the back of the car look just gorgeous here under this bar is the brake light so keep in mind when you brake here is the the bar light is no more here usually it's here under the uh, the spoiler but now Seat Cupra actually chose to put it here on this uh, on this bar so it's really interesting um, the way it looks it's unique and something new it looks really really good almost perfect in my opinion now going down a little bit here you have this uh, Cupra logo that it's so nice like a computer game it looks really interesting really interesting also you have Cupra uh, letters here in glossy black plastic you have LED lights on the number plate guys here as you can see it uh, and also you have the reverse camera that I will show you later when we go inside the way it looks but great great the fact that you have LED lights everywhere now down here you have some light reflector on the bumper the bumper also really cool lines and sharp edges six sensors in the back those are for blind spot technology and those four are for parking nice integrate great technology great safety features uh, and if you go here one of my favorite part on this car is down here you have here those fake exhaust pipes in the same color this is classic uh, for cupra to, to use this kind of a goldish brown color uh, that looks so nice so nice they are fake because the real one it's somewhere under the car but they look really sporty and nice then you have this also fake uh, air diffuser down here that looks so spectacular so spectacular guys also the same story here on the right side what do you think in my opinion they look really good really good the back of the car looks just splendid i don't have anything to say about that it's just beautiful now if i go on the side right here i want to show you around the edges of the windows you have glossy black plastic it looks really good really modern trend these days uh, tinted windows also in the back on the side here also up there you have the radio antenna and glossy black plastic and going down a little bit here you have this roof spoiler that looks super sporty and it's integrated very nice with the car with the design of the car now the handle of the car is pretty simple uh, kind of the same handles like Volkswagen Group used for many cars like Volkswagen Golf 8 
for example, and it's simple and nice. You lock and unlock the car by having your finger or hands here. So that's a great, great tech. You have a camera for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, there you have the sensors for the light and uh, raining. So for example, uh, when it's raining, the wipers will run automatically. Great lines, as you can see here, that comes in the front. Beautiful lines on the hood. I'm, I'm such a big fan of this hood. I like the way it looks, so aggressive this front of the car, this hood, it's so unique. In the front, the same six sensors, four are for parking, and those on the side are for blind spot technology. Then the bumper in the front, also nice, sharp edges, beautiful lines. As you can see down here, you have this kind of a plastic fake air intakes. They are not real, they are kind of fake, but it looks so nice. A gray glossy here. Uh, then you go to the front grille. It's pretty small and nice. You have this Cupra logo in the middle. Big air intakes, the radiator there uh, to cool down the engine. Some gray glossy here. Uh, and if you go down here also, air intakes. And then here in the middle, you have the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety feature. So overall, uh, the bumper look looks splendid. The same as in the back, I don't have anything to say about uh, any complaint. In my opinion, it's super nice. Even the rims, these black matte rims look gorgeous, gorgeous rims, 19 inch rims, uh, ventilated brake discs in the back here. You can see right here, they are gorgeous. Also, even those brake calipers, they are, they are painted in the black. It looks so nice, so nice. Let's go in the front. Also, you can see it here a little bit better. Look gorgeous. Ventilated brake discs in the front as well. And also you have the Cupra, Cupra writing on the uh, brake calipers in black. I don't know if you can see, they're really nice. They look just perfect. Perfect combination with the car. They fit just gorgeous. One of the most beautiful rims, uh, in my opinion, on the market today. So yeah, that's my opinion. From down here, let's open it up. Oh, by the way, you hear that? The quality of the doors are also quite good. Uh, so no, no complaining about that. Now here in the front, very easy to open this hood. It's a manual lift gate, but also the fact that they add those rubbers here and this protection there, it also helps with the noise insulation of the engine here in the front. And here you have the 1.4 liter petrol engine and in combination with the electric uh, motor together 245 horsepower and 400 newton meters super super powerful here is the inverter and under there should be the electric motor and also electrical parts on the right side and on the left side is the 1.4 liter petrol engine it's a great engine i have it on my x audi uh, a3 and i was so happy with this uh, engine super here's the charging port where you can charge the battery 13 kilowatt hour battery and you can charge it at normal socket in around eight hours or you can charge it at fast charging station in probably three hours and it's simple uh, the car come also standard with cables i will show you later let me show you the trunk now here you have a manual lift gate you can open the trunk uh, manually this is the space here you have a handle quite simple then you have this protection for the trunk I will take it out I will show you the way it looks without it then you have some uh, plastic at the entrance right here uh, and then you have here like maybe 15 centimeter deepness quite nice some hooks here you have a space where you can put your triangle some hook for grocery LED lights here you have another story space on the right side hook and then hooks here uh, those are the cables that I tell you I will show you it comes standard with the cables here you have the fast charging cable yes if I'm not wrong yes and then here you have the the charging cable for home so let me see if I can find out where is this yes you have the normal socket so you can charge it at normal socket eight hours and this cable at uh, public station fast public station uh, charging station you can charge it in uh, three hours so yeah pretty cool uh, the fact that comes with it now the only downside here you have 217 liters here and for the size of the car 
uh, the fact that it's kind of a sporty car and in the same time you can use electric range and combustion range quite nice for two people three people you can put your bags here you can go in holiday it's pretty much big but if you want to go under here you can see you don't have any space here you have repair kit here you have a few stuff uh, up there in the back but other than that not so much space because here is the tank the battery and all other stuff so this is the only downside in the interior that I find about this car so until now only the trunk not so big and only that skirt but other than that pff, I, I like everything now let me take out this protection and then we will continue guys let i just take out that protection now you can make a better idea uh the way it looks here in the back so in my opinion the entrance in the car here in the trunk it's quite big so you can fit in big stuff like a fridge or stuff like that so from point of view of entrance it's super super big and yeah i don't know it's it's quite okay the trunk it's not so bad and uh, it's not perfect but it's still still reasonable good now guys the great part is that you can also fold down this middle part so you can have carried like long items like skis or stuff like that and in the same time have two passengers here there in the back so that's a good thing and then if you want to fold down the old seats you can do it from here you can fold it 40 like that or uh, you can go with all down so yeah if you fold everything down you can see that you have a flat floor it's almost completely flat floor there and as i said before because you have this big entrance here yeah you can fit in even a fridge or wash machine or stuff like that big items i mean so yeah from this point of view it's just it's just perfect i will go a little bit closer so you can make a better idea uh, the way it looks but from my point of view it looks really really good here open the door entrance it's big and you can make a better idea the way it looks also from this angle so yeah reasonable good in my opinion down here on the legs room plenty plenty of space to be honest you can also put a lot of stuff down here uh, without any problem so yeah not bad not bad at all good let me put everything back guys and then we will continue with the interior of the car here in the back you have a big window on the downside you have in this area you have plastic keep in mind on the upper side it's a nice trim there if you zoom in a little bit but it's still uh, a plastic so that's something to keep in mind uh, the design overall design of the door it's pretty nice but um, yeah i don't know they use plastic on the upper side then you have this handle here in gray also look quite nice i like it then you have a small speaker very nice integrated in triangles there then what is important is that you have soft material all over here in this area soft material nice you have here leather in this area where your arm are resting so that's really important uh, then you have also leather here on the armrest with this brown stitches uh, signature for cupra so then you have those uh, electric uh, folding windows so that's nice then you have a lot of storage space i like that very much here pretty big storage space in the door bands and then you have another speaker right here with very nice design the entrance in the car super super big that's something that i like also uh, it looks that you have a lot of space here in the back i will go in a second inside there and we will test it out and what i want to tell you before i go there is that and the seats have a combination of leather with stuff material in the middle very nice design very interesting uh, they are wide long you can see here you have kind of a side support brown stitches uh, on the leather on the side also the headrest there are these uh, new headrest i told you in my videos before i don't know if you see my videos uh, they use new headrest this is the new trend these days uh, they use those kind of soft headrest and they are super comfortable guys you have to try it uh, they are super awesome for long trips but other than that you have two isofix here so you can install two child seats even the middle part look how big it is uh, from from this part it's super big so even three people can stay here without any problem i will test it a little bit later so you will see what i mean here in the middle you have this armrest with two cup holders in leather 
very good quality overall. The quality of the materials are super nice. Behind the front seats, uh, because they are sporty seats, you have leather, you have also this nice uh, design here. Uh, leather everywhere, everywhere leather here. Storage uh, space here. Then in the middle you have a big transmission tunnel and then in the middle uh, you have two USB ports, USB-C, you have the possibility to adjust the climatic system and then you have two vents. From this point of view it's just perfect. Even the carpets, they are special, they are Cupra carpets. I go inside the car so easy because the entrance it's, it's incredible big and guys let me tell you something, I review so many cars and I have to tell you, the space here in the back, it's really, really good. Now, not only the space, but the things that, that Cupra bring on this car, many cars more expensive than this one doesn't have it. For example, I don't know how many cars have in the back here two USB-C, the possibility to adjust the climatic system and also to have these two vents here in the back. The fact that you have this uh, leather here is much better than a plastic where you can hit your knee right here for safety reason. It's much better to have this stuff material here behind the seats. You have hooks here, you have handle hook. The quality of the roof, it's very good in my opinion. It's, it's, it's top. Uh, then also here you have this touch LED lights. You just touch it like that. Very smooth, very nice, very good quality. Let me close the door. I tell you, the Seat become one of my favorite brands um, from 2020 upward. They make such a good cars. I, I'm, I'm so impressed with them and the price are so good. You see in the beginning of the video, the price of the car is incredible good. Now, I don't want to talk too much. Just look, look guys, look how much space I have here. I mean, look at this huge space on my head. Yeah, this headrest, look at this, it's so soft. So nice, so comfortable for long trips, it's perfect. Visibility is also uh, almost perfect. You have maybe a little bit of blind spot here. Uh, you have a small window there. But in this, in this area, so in this angle, uh, I have good visibility. Also comfort is quite good, no complaining. Let me show you space on my knees. Look at this, it's huge, it's like an SUV. I can stretch my legs a little bit down there, yeah, and then incredible incredible spacious guys and also look at the seats it's in my driving position this one here and this one it's maybe a little bit more backwards but if you look closely yes i want to be realistic as possible you can make yourself an idea how much space it is going in the middle of course you have this transmission tunnel you have to jump it a little bit like that but here you have a lot of space on your knees, even here on the other seat. And then look at the space on my head, four, maybe almost five fingers. Stretch my hand completely, yes. And then stretch my hand completely. Check out my other videos, you will understand because I do the same test. It's incredible spacious. If, if I look from the exterior, the car comes so compact, it looks so compact, so sporty. You don't even think that you will have so much space in the back here. Wow. And also this down part here, it's more extended than in other cars. It's, it's more, more big, this area. Usually it's until here, you know, like that. But this one, it's, it's quite big. Great job. I mean, Seat, Cupra, great job. I love it. Even free people, I think, can stay here without any problem. But I'm not sure for very long trips, maybe short, medium trips, no problem. No problem. I mean, love the car great job great job guys great job now we will go in the front we will talk about the dashboard the multimedia system uh the center armrest console there and also steering wheel and all the other stuff uh, but if you look from here from the distance uh, the dashboard looks so modern so futuristic the same as the exterior seat and cupra bring so many new uh, stuff. Yeah, let's go in the front guys. Big window, one pieces. I like that. So the visibility, it's, it's quite good. Now here in the front is different than in the back. Here in the front on the upper side here, you have soft material. 
So everywhere here it's soft, nice trim. Uh, this time the way should be really, really good quality. Then you have this LED light inserted in the door right here. I will try to show you later. You can change also the colors. I think it has around 30 colors or 36 colors that you can change it. Also the blind spot, it's right here in this angle. I will show you later the lights, uh, the warning. Uh, then you have this gray, gray, gray plastic in matte plastic here. Uh, then gray handle, also really nice. Really, really unique. Stuff material here in this area, soft leather here in this area. Leather here with brown stitches. Handle, then the buttons, electric buttons folding the windows. Then you have electric adjustable mirrors, folding mirrors, heated mirrors right here. Super cool. A lot of storage space even on the door bands here in the front. Then you have the button to open the, the tank door and then here you have another speaker and really nice combine and continuing with those triangles. So overall the quality of the door it's it's very good. Cupra logo here, LED light. I don't know if you can see it. In the nighttime, you can see it better with this aluminum. Look gorgeous. Uh, also, the carpets with Cupra logo. You have aluminum pedals that also Volkswagen use it. Uh, the same pedals, really, really good quality. At the entrance here, you can see those sporty seats, Cupra seats. They look super nice. The quality is great. The same combination of leather. Uh, with stuff material in the middle here and also they are super soft uh, and nice and really comfortable and long trips here you have side support on the side the same brown stitches side support then you have this nice entrance and on the upper side you have the Cupra logo there I think you can see it nice seats but they are manual adjustable so keep in mind you have to adjust it manually I don't know for how many of you this is a problem but most of the the sporty seats they are manual adjustable in sporty cars here you have this new design of lights so how you want to change the lights you just ha have to press it like a touch screen buttons you press it you turn on the lights the fog lamps the the possibility to turn on the the climatic system maximum or rear defrosted so you can do it from from this uh, area that that's really awesome really new stuff then going up a little bit you have here in the dash this gray matte color really nice and then the vents look at the vents so unique so nice design glossy gray plastic then you have this brown signature and then you have the, the vent in the middle then on the dash you can see also the trim it's soft everywhere keep in mind soft material everywhere on the dash soft and nice good quality material now Going inside, visibility around the windows, very good also in the mirrors, no problem. I mean, in terms of visibility, it is just gorgeous, gorgeous visibility. Also, you can see one more time the seats right there in the back. Um, then going down here, you have this armrest that you can adjust it a little bit forward, backward, soft and nice. Here you have some storage space, 12 volt port. Pretty good, pretty useful this space. Here you have two cup holders uh, in this area. You can see it one smaller, one bigger. And then if I go a little bit forward, you can see electronic handbrake, auto hold, lock uh, the car. Also in the center console, we don't have any glossy plastic like most of the people complain these days. Now we have this matte, kind of a matte design. Here you have the space for the key. You can leave the key or whatever. And then you have another space here where you can leave something. And then the car come with this shift by wire transmission. This is new. So you change the, the speeds just like that. It's super, super simple and nice. I love the way they, they do it because you spare so much space here. It looks so much nicer than that big stick in the middle so really good six speed dsg special transmission uh, gearbox for the plug-in hybrids car then the parking button then the start engine button it's right here and also you can see that signature from for the first time seat come with this nice signature red pulping light i like it very much uh, actually let me start the car also you can see a nice graphic when you start the car with cupra logo right there on the screen if i go a little bit forward guys there you have another two usb-c ports so you have two in the back two in the front here you have the, the possibility to charge your phone wireless right here i can zoom in a little bit so you can see it so it's great a lot of great new technology in the in the car here uh, then the glow box is pretty big look at this really really big 
you have a space up there even up there you have some kind of space to put your stuff you have an led light up there and then you have uh, the story space you don't have any more that cd player so you can forget about it uh, these days uh, no cd player or stuff like that there so that's something to keep in mind so other than that here you have those the same nice vents same nice design vents with uh, the blinker button perfect position it here uh, the same gray here integrated in the dash look really good then soft material everywhere here uh, nice trim uh, then you have the led light i don't know now is day but you have an led light strip all over the dash not sure if you can see it right now if i turn on the lights i'm not sure it's too much uh, sun outside so you cannot see it but keep in mind you have a nice led light there uh, in the nighttime it looks really good then you have another speaker there on the dash in this area very nice integrated is this huge uh, multimedia screen that i already made a full review if you want to see the full review with the multimedia system from seat it's already on my channel so check it out there i go in all every single detail about it uh, is the same one as on this uh, cupra leon then up here you have this mirror quite nice mirror good visibility in the back you can see it from here the visibility is quite quite good nice tiny mirror uh, on the upper side the same as in the back uh, you have the possibility to to turn on that led light and then you have an sos button and if you put your finger here look at this you have led lights by touch of your finger so pretty nice i like them then also you have sos and info buttons there uh, we cannot use it right now but you have it here you can see it in this area here you have an led light on the mirror quite nice fancy good quality handle quality of the roof i tell you before it's very good you have another speaker on the a pillar right here a pillar good quality as well you can adjust the steering wheel up down forward backward the way you want it manually super simple behind the steering wheel on the steering wheel you have those pedals to change the the gear manual if you want to have some fun and change it uh, manually you can do that from from behind the steering wheel the steering wheel quality it's almost perfect i love it i wish i have it on my car to be honest great sporty steering wheel nice design uh, also very nice this area here in the middle it looks so modern so so spectacular great grip here on the side brown stitches little holes here good good grip high quality uh, leather gray material i don't know i like it i like it so much the steering wheel it's it's beautiful uh, then here on the steering wheel you have the controllers for the the volume then you have the cruise control controllers here lane assist and all that distance and set the speed uh, you can see more infos in the test drive video guys so check it out there and also on the right side you have the controllers for the cockpit i will show you in a second and also you have the heated steering wheel the car come with heated steering wheel and from here you can change the views on the on the screen there and also you can change the different stuff right there super simple just like that so a lot of configuration i have to tell you that you can configure this screen in so many ways so many ways so many ways i like it i like it very much so you can do it from here if i go close there you can see that the car come with a new digital screen also i have a full review with it uh, with the multimedia it's one of the best i mean in terms of quality the resolution the colors the brightness uh, it's just perfect and also you have a great visibility from the driver point of view uh, in the multimedia and also in the cockpit if i go close there yes let me show you how many things you can do you can have for example the navigation in the middle if you want to uh, you can also change the different uh, information on the left side there the consumption whatever you want to see you can see it right there how much gas you have how much battery you have yes and then you can change also the other the right side you can see the g meter you can see the radio the media the navigation infos and stuff like that i mean it's so complex then in the middle there you can have the navigation uh, you can have this view like that for example if you don't like the other one you can have this view so in this way where in the middle is the um, uh, cruise control and that safety features then or you can have it like that you can have the navigation all over the screen if you want to if you choose this to take it out you will go to the x 
where is the X, yes, and then press it OK, and then you can turn off completely. You can turn both sides completely off if you don't want any infos and go to X and you have the navigation all over the screen like that. How cool is that? I mean, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. This is also kind of a sporty mode, normal view and this kind of extended view amazing i mean the way you can configure it it's it's high class top premium class uh in my opinion now let's go to the multimedia here in the middle here you have some controllers kind of the the climatic system you can control it from here low and high also on the right side and also the volume from here you can play a little bit with the volume down here if you want to go to the climatic system you don't have any physical button all you have to do is just go up here where you see these vans and then from, from here, it will get you directly to the menu, to the climatic system menu. And then in the climatic system menu, you want to turn it off, press it like that, it's off. You want to turn it on, turn it on like that. Or actually, you can turn it on by pressing those, uh, put your finger here. Or you can press this maximum button here and you can turn on the climatic system. So you have more options. So it's, it's simple. Then you have also a heated steering wheel here. The option also you have heated seats from up here. You press this button, you can turn on the heating uh, on your seats for you and the passenger. Uh, and here in the climatic system, guys, you have also a lot of, a lot of options. You can use it manual if you want to from here just like that or you can use it uh, on automatic mode then you can go you can see here on the right side you have the rear possibility in the rear to to adjust it or you have the climatic uh, system kind of this is the smart uh, eye climate and here is simple you go cool my feet for example and the car will do that for you defrost the windows you can choose wherever wherever you want uh, very very simple from there and let me go back uh, to the vents because you cannot hear, hear me so well. Then the car comes also with air climatic. Uh, this is also the same thing that Skoda have it, for example. Uh, Skoda come for the first time with this. And you can see it's kind of a clean up the air right there. Uh, really smart thing. And then you have the settings down here where you can have the air recirculating uh, auto intensity when it's on the auto mode, what will be the intensity low uh, and wherever. So you have so many options here, guys. So that's something to keep in mind from here. You can choose also, you just have to press it. You know, you can use also this as a touch screen, this area here. So for example, you want the air to go up, you press like this. You want to go in the middle, you press like this. You want to go to the legs, you open this on the upper side. So how cool is that? I mean, how smart is, is this uh, technology these days? I mean, uh, the multimedia system, it's just super smart, super cool. And I like it. I don't know, many people, I see some complain, but I like it so, so much. I, I really think you can get used with it uh, very fast. Now, this is enough with the climatic system. Let me go forward. And for example, from down here, you have, this is the main, it's like a tablet. Here is the main menu. You press this button here kind of a button, you put your finger here and you go in the home screen. This is a home screen. You have the navigation here, uh, for example, you have the media here, you have the mobile connectivity. If you go right like this, you have here, for example, the information about the parking assist, the parking sensors, uh, then you have the lane assist, you can activate, deactivate it from here. You have the driver profile, uh, here you can choose uh, comfort or wherever you want to have it, sporty comfort cupra mode individual mode where you can individualize because the car come with a few driving modes from here you can change it uh, you don't have a physical button you can go in sport mode cupra mode individual mode and comfort yeah pretty nice then go up you have the battery and information about the hybrid system you can choose to drive to to have the car to drive in hybrid mode or you can choose to drive in uh, e-mode in electric mode only if you have battery i have around 77 uh, percent battery so yeah i'm in electric mode right now yeah this is a great great option now let me go forward then you have the background light if you want to have the background light you can turn this on and you can see the background light 
and yeah whatever then you have the climatic system right here you can choose it pretty nice and also you have the consumption right here on the last 295 kilometer you can see 6.3 liter consumption pretty good consumption to be honest uh, but you can get even better i know that also it shows you the potential uh, from the consumers and stuff like that but i will go now uh, in the detail a little bit with those stuff down here on the down area you have shortcuts so you want to go to navigation put the finger here you are in the navigation mode right now and the map it's quite responsive as you can see right here I mean I don't have any complaint it's it's quite responsive and also what is cool is that on the map it will show you you know you see this line here it will show you how many kilometers you can still drive in electric mode so you can see until where you can go only in, in electric mode. So that's really a great feature uh, that electric car and, and plug-in hybrid cars have it. Then you can go in media, press this button, go to the media here, simple radio and stuff like that. Then you go to uh, the telephone right here uh, and you can see the connectivity, the phone and stuff like that. Then you go here, you have kind of the Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and all that stuff. Um, but you have to use an USB port. I have a special video on how to connect your Android device with this multimedia system. So check it out on my channel. It's already there. And it's great that you can have all that stuff from your phone directly here. It's, it's just perfect. Then going forward, here is the information, the consumption on since start today, long terms since refueling so yeah this is this is great great information vehicle status if it has some errors on the e-info here you can see information how many kilometers the car can still drive you can see 35 kilometers estimated potential plus five kilometer if you close the climatic system it tell you that climatic it's on so turn off the climatic system and then you will save some uh, energy then if you go to the energy flow here in this um, view it will show you while you're driving when the battery is charging when the engine is using more power and stuff like that so that's another cool uh, feature while you're driving to see it uh, at least in the beginning when you buy the car will be quite fun then going to the e-mode here you have all kind of information about uh, reduce charging current uh, choice here the air conditioning when the car is stationary uh, then the porter here you can choose when you go when the schedule charging for example and air conditioning you can choose from here how you like to have inside the car while you are not inside the car I should say like that uh, here is the sound on the sound you can choose also preset sound settings or you can customize yourself or you can go to the sound focus and balance and stuff like that you can adjust it from here also you have more extended uh, settings uh, that you can go in so other than that the user here and the manual you have kind of a manual about the car it will teach you a lot of stuff if you don't know how to use it uh, then if you go here let me go back to the menu this is the main menu if you press it two times here it will get you to this menu here you have a lot of settings for example if you go to settings you can change the screen settings the time and date the language the units uh, you can have kilometer miles and all the other stuff like that uh, wi-fi data connectivity mobile device here you find a lot of settings and information about the car let me go back to the menu then you have the help you already see it the e-manager you already see it user full link you see it with android sound air conditioning telephone you see it media driving data and vehicle you already see those stuff we get we get already in those in those information and uh, the only thing that you didn't see it is this vehicle and this is great because this vehicle it will always stay on the screen here you see a car and if you press, if you put your finger on this car, it will get you to this menu. This is the most important menu from the driving point of view. You have the parking sensors and parking assist, the car come with parking assist. You have assist, smart assistance. Here you can turn off the traction control from here. You have to go into menu here to do that. And if you go more detail, you have traction control, you have lane assist, emergency uh, SOS assist, uh, adaptive cruise control and front assist all that safety features are here then you have it here on the left side driving profile on the driving profile you can choose uh, free driving modes comfort sport and cupra uh, and then you have the individual mode where you can 
customize the way you want all that stuff you go to configurate and you can choose how you like to have the dcc uh, the car come also with dcc that mean adaptive damper control so it has amazing amazing suspensions we will talk about that in other video and in, in the other one check out the test drive video uh, the steering wheel you can choose sport comfort and cupra uh, how you like the suspension to be the engine to be comfort sport echo or cupra you have more modes engine sound wow that's nice cupra you have you can have uh, this sound adaptive cruise control air conditioning and all the other stuff you can customize uh, the way you want it we will stay in comfort for the moment and also it will give you some infos here when you go in info you can see in comfort mode in which mode are everything here so you can see in, in every mode how the things are here set it so individual mode you can set it an individual special mode where you can make everything echo going forward battery here information about the battery you can see how much uh, battery you have you can go in hybrid mode you can choose manual uh, to be in hybrid mode right now or wherever you can change the different modes then here you have the background light as i told you a lot of lights inside the car a lot of colors i think around 36 colors you have the possibility to to add it and in the night time it looks really gorgeous that line there uh, on the dash really beautiful really great great stuff uh, this background light it's modern it's nice you can customize you can do whatever light you want it's just just perfect also a lot of great great modern colors I should say uh, it has now the vehicle here settings you can go to the vehicle here you have a lot of settings for example in the interior you can go to the infotainment and adjust and change different settings here or you can go to the exterior right here where you have the lights information automatic headlights control in rain convenience turning signals automatic headlight control so then you have the comfort light uh, exit lights you can choose also a few information then you go right you have the mirrors folding mirrors or not you choose how you want to have it center locking tires windows wipers electric drive here uh, you can see here from electric drive you can choose the level of recuperation guys how much uh, you want the car to recuperate while you're driving for example low recuperation or high recuperation so when you take the foot out of acceleration uh, the car will regenerate more energy or it will break you will use kind of a one pedal drive or or not or just low you can choose from here the way you want it so keep in mind you have to go to the vehicle settings and, and choice change it from here so other than that those are the info information guys uh, i think i show you almost everything I don't think I miss something here. Uh, the cockpit, you already see it. And yeah, that was the review, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it useful. I hope you get some useful information from the video, guys. As a conclusion, in the end, I should say that for this price, for 34,900, of course, it's not a brand new, brand new. It's a little bit more expensive, 40,000. Uh, but for this price, what this car offers, it's incredible. I mean, the multimedia, it's premium and the cockpit in premium, in my opinion, it's premium. I don't know, I see much more expensive cars that doesn't have what this uh, cockpit and multimedia offers you. The steering wheel, it's incredible, it's premium. I mean, it's, it's perfect, perfect steering wheel. The seats are also incredible, incredible good. Uh, you have heated seats, you have heated steering wheel, uh, you have a lot of safety features, a lot of comfort features and technologies and the visibility and the design, exterior design, it's super beautiful incredible nice design beautiful lines beautiful shapes the rims are also perfect and i like them very much usb port wireless charging android auto perfect i mean these days it's so hard to choose a car but this one it's uh, one of the best and as i said i want to give it a rating every time after the video i will give it a rating the rating of this car will be from 1 to 10 and i will give it 9.5 rating because it's great 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 price uh, for for what this car can offer and that was the video guys i hope you enjoyed please like it share it 
that will mean a lot for me also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the newest test car that come on my channel also uh, if you want to see the test drive with this one subscribe to see the notification when the video will come out thank you very much to all of you as always thank you i really appreciate that you're watching my video if you have question you want to ask me something just write me down in the comment i will answer to you all also guys if you want to see the car if you are in switzerland around switzerland i will leave the link in the description so you can check out uh, the car you can test drive you can buy it if you want to uh, at Kauchi Garage so check them out they are super nice also thank you for watching stay safe guys uh, don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of articles videos tips about how to buy a car and all kind of stuff from auto industry don't hesitate to, to check it out thank you very much for watching stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys